Good morning, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. It is, wow, 5.59 a.m. And had a good sleep. Just woke up a little while ago. Sinuses are kicking in because we have the air conditioner on only at night times, you know, just for sleeping. But um, I passed right out last night. I went right to sleep. So I, I just, I had a he terrible headache all day yesterday. But I thought of yesterday going out to um, Dollar Tree. And there really, you know, my Dollar Tree, there really is not anything spectacular. I see everybody else's YouTube videos and it's like, you know, oh, you know, here's this week's Dollar Tree and they're finding these things and they're finding full sets of dishes and they're finding um, arts and crafts and they're just finding new stuff. But my Dollar Tree seems to just have the, the basics, just the same thing. Well, my Dollar Tree happens to be a hit or miss. So... I did manage to find, I was in like the little hairbrush section, just walking. As a matter of fact, that's where the line started to get to the registers. <laughs> they, my Dollar Tree like has this long line and it actually goes down one of the aisles. So I was trying to, as I was waiting on line to go down the aisle, you know, social distance, of course, they, they do that pretty well, let me tell you. I picked up these nice little uh, hairbrushes. Uh, they're, they're children's hairbrushes mini <laughs> so i managed to get that they're cute they're very cute they they work they work very well they're very comfortable so what i was thinking of me with all my lounge fly bags i was going to put some in my lounge fly bags but right now i only got two of course now when i go back of course they're not going to have any and this is the princess one let's see if i can focus that there we are nice princess brush I know it's pink. I don't like, if you know me by now, I'm not a fan of pink. I know I will get over it and sacrifice and take one for the team because of its Disney princesses. <laughs> so, you know, for a dollar, you can't go wrong, you know? So I picked those up. They're sturdy. They're plastic. Um, it's, it's, I don't think it seems to be a sticker type. I don't feel that it's a sticker, so it's just, it's the whole brush, you know, it comes down to the handle. And again, Disney official licensed product, I believe, for both. <laughs> so, that's it on that one. Sinuses are kicking in. I make ginger tea for myself. I love ginger tea. It actually clears up the morning for you, clears up my sinuses as well. Oh, yeah, that's good. Anyhow, I also like to discuss overnight. Seems like Disney did it again overnight. I don't know. I went to sleep early, so I don't know what time they, they posted the video. But um, alcoholic beverages are, from what I understand, not being sold in the state of Florida right now. They seem to be banning that. What are we doing? Prohibition again? But um, you Floridians got to learn. You're, you're in for it. You're in for a big huge storm okay now from what i understand yesterday it was over nine about nine thousand nine thousand new cases within a 24-hour period did i read that right we did it up here in new york we know we know you guys haven't seen nothing yet i think your governor now your governor is starting to just get a little bit perturbed and so, rightfully so, he should. Rightfully so. I just can't get over the fact that us New Yorkers here, and I still, you know, all you got to do is Google it, and you'll see, you know, I mean, for us New Yorkers, what we went through. Our numbers right now are less than a 1,000 a day being admitted to the hospitals. For us, we are jumping up and down over that. We are so proud of that, believe it or not. It's anything to look forward to. Anything, anything to look forward to. Anything to be proud of. 
I thought I cut my sound off on that, my notifications while I'm doing this, but obviously I didn't. So anyhow, it's even a wonder anybody's up at six o'clock in the morning bugging me. But you haven't lived yet. You haven't lived the experience yet, so to speak, until, and I say this because this is one of the main memories for me of us New Yorkers that we will never forget people having family members that that are passing away at the hospitals, but you can't go and identify your loved ones because they're out in freezer trucks. They're in freezer trucks stored outside the hospitals because there's no room inside the hospitals for dead people. There were no room for morgues. Morgues were getting overwhelmed. Funeral parlors were actually shutting down because they had no means of room anymore to conduct funeral services. And besides, we were in a we were in a, a lockdown anyway, you know, uh, quarantine. So you couldn't even have a proper funeral burial for your loved ones. You guys know nothing yet. You know nothing yet. You know, as much as we don't want to see you go through it, the more stupid you people are, the faster you guys are going to go through it. You know. And from what I understand, our Florida governor, uh, our New York governors were, you know, whenever Florida or some, somebody um, has issues, they come to the New York side to ask for help, to ask for um, funding from the state and from the government. And you know what? To learn a very valuable lesson, you people should, you know, we should turn around and say, you know what? You guys are on your own now. We warned you. It's not funny. It's not it's just uh, you got it's like it's you know what it's like the situation somebody says you know we went on this great trip oh really yeah you know so, so, oh well never mind you had to be there you will be there you know we have this pandemic and you know what you had to be there oh never mind it's on its way to you now Please understand, this is serious. And I know like Florida, between Florida's having a lot of older people because they go to retire there. You have a lot of younger people that are, you know, young and stupid that like to go down there. You know, it's ridiculous. We know a few people that actually went to Florida. My husband had even said to this person, you know, you're going down there to my, I really don't think you should go. Well, now he has to be stuck down there. He can't come back here now. So... You know, he's, he's stuck. It's over for him right now. Who knows when he's going to come back to work? I mean, you know, that's it. You know, jobs are offering, you know, jobs are not offering you. They'll offer you your vacation. But uh, after your vacation, you when you come back home, you now have to quarantine here for 14 days. So you're not going to be able to come to work. So that quarantine is not going to be paid for by your companies. That's not your company's responsibility. That's from your stupidity, from people telling you, you know what, you really shouldn't go. But you didn't listen. So we know a few people like that now. Sad. Anyhow, just wanted to let you know, Dollar Tree, I hope, I know there was one subscriber that actually grabbed one of those uh, lounge fly backpacks yesterday from Box Lunch. I don't know if there's any available. I went on last night just on my cell phone. And I know the mobile the mobile app shows you different things than an actual website. But it kept saying this is unavailable right now. So I'm taking that. The backpack is again sold out. Or they're just selling a certain amount per day. And then they shut it down. I don't know how it goes. But just wanted to show you my lounge uh, my uh, my lounge fly. Ugh, got lounge fly on the brain. Just wanted to show you my Dollar Tree haul. Just two little brushes. That's it. By the time I go back and get more, I know they're not going to have any. What are you going to do? So, just that little bit of a news. People were going down to, um, they're down at Disney World. They're, they're posting videos. There's nobody down there. What did you expect? Oh, well, you know, there's like really nobody down here. No shit, people. At this point, just shut it down. Just shut it down. Disneyland had the right idea, but then Disneyland's on the petitions anyway. So, but of course they're not going to admit to that. And if Disney World was smart, they would just quietly say, "You know what? This is this is over." It. You know what, guys? It's over before it started. You know, 
when this pandemic first hit us up here in New York, I looked at my husband. We were still, you know, we were doing that. We, we still had a trip to Florida, Florida planned for September. I looked at my husband at one point. I said, you know, this is over before it started. I know he didn't want to hear that, but now we're living it. So the truth has come out. And the truth will come out for you Floridians. It's just, don't be so naive. Don't be so naive. Anyway, let me go. Let me start my day. It's now 6 o'clock a.m. And I'm up here talking. I know there's people in the building sleeping, but they'll wake up soon. <laughs> All right, I'm going to finish my ginger tea and, and have a good day, people. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for watching. Um, hello to all the new subscribers. Thank you so much for doing it. Like I said, I'm a small fish in a big pond. I'm just report me. This is all, this is as raw as I'm getting. I don't do nothing special, no special effects, no editing. I'm coming from yourself, my cell phone, and I'm just coming to you live. So that's it for me. I hope you like it. Okay. God bless. Have a wonderful Saturday. Hope all is well. Take care. See you soon. Bye-bye.